a 52-year-old woman walked into Massachusetts General Hospital with normal body weight, but expanding waistline, crashing energy, and new pre-diabetes diagnosis. Scans revealed something shocking. Her organs were surrounded by a type of fat her body couldn't burn through normal diet and exercise. This isn't rare. Your body might be storing the same dangerous fat, visceral adipose tissue, actively releasing inflammatory chemicals into your bloodstream every second. This fat doesn't respond to calorie restriction like regular fat does. Researchers at Harvard Medical School's Nutrition Obesity Research Center have spent decades studying why this happens, why your metabolism treats this fat completely differently. If you're over 35, sit for long periods, or notice your waistline growing despite your efforts, understanding this could change everything. Visceral fat isn't just stored energy. According to 2023 research with Harvard Medical School collaboration, this metabolically active tissue pumps out inflammatory molecules called cytokines continuously. Think of it as a toxic factory wrapped around your liver, pancreas, and intestines. The World Health Organization identifies obesity and its complications, including visceral fat accumulation, as a major preventable health risk. Their 2024 data shows obesity leads to type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and increased cancer risk. But visceral fat is particularly dangerous because it's metabolically different from subcutaneous fat. Your body has two fat-burning systems. Lipolysis breaks down fat cells and releases fatty acids for fuel. This system handles subcutaneous fat easily, but visceral fat is surrounded by blood vessels draining directly into your liver. It releases different hormones and actively resists normal fat-burning signals. Research from Brigham and Women's Hospital at Harvard found that visceral adiposity creates insulin resistance, elevates blood pressure, and disrupts cholesterol metabolism, even in people with normal body weight. The fat changes how your metabolism functions at a cellular level. Your body didn't randomly store toxic fat around vital organs. Something specific triggered it. Insulin resistance, which starts silently years before diagnosis. Every time you eat, your pancreas releases insulin to help glucose enter cells for energy. When you consume excess sugar and refined carbohydrates repeatedly, your cells become less responsive to insulin. Your pancreas compensates by producing even more insulin, creating a vicious cycle. High insulin levels trap you in two ways. First, they tell your body to stop burning stored fat. Second, they signal your liver to convert excess glucose into triglycerides and store them as visceral fat around your abdomen. Meta-analyses of clinical trials show insulin resistance is strongly associated with visceral fat accumulation. The relationship is bidirectional. Visceral fat promotes insulin resistance, and insulin resistance promotes more visceral fat storage. When you feel exhausted after meals, crave sweets in the afternoon, or wake up puffy, your body is signaling that insulin resistance has begun. Your cells aren't receiving energy efficiently even though you're storing fat. You're simultaneously starving at the cellular level while accumulating dangerous fat deposits. This is why cutting calories alone often fails. You're not addressing the underlying hormonal dysfunction. Next, five warning signs indicate visceral fat is interfering with your metabolism. Most people miss number five until serious complications develop. Warning sign one, waist measurement exceeds hip measurement. Even with normal body weight, this distribution indicates visceral accumulation. NIH research confirms waist-to-hip ratio predicts cardiovascular disease better than BMI. Warning sign two, fatigue or brain fog after eating carbohydrates. This signals excessive insulin spiking, then crashing. 
your cells aren't processing glucose efficiently. Warning sign three. Fat accumulates around your abdomen rather than hips and thighs. This pattern specifically indicates visceral fat, which releases different inflammatory markers than subcutaneous fat. Warning sign four, blood tests show elevated triglycerides or reduced HDL cholesterol. Visceral fat disrupts how your liver processes fats, altering your lipid profile. Warning sign five, the one people ignore, you wake up feeling stiff, swollen, or inflamed, especially around joints or abdomen. Visceral fat creates chronic low-grade systemic inflammation. Your immune system constantly fights this internal battle. If you recognize three or more signs, your body is signaling metabolic dysfunction has started, but you can address it with science-backed interventions. People who successfully reverse metabolic dysfunction in their 50s, 60s, and 70s share one pattern. They don't wait for a formal diabetes diagnosis. They recognize early warning signs and act before small problems become chronic diseases. A 58-year-old woman whose doctor dismissed her expanding waistline as normal menopause weight didn't accept that as inevitable. Her energy kept declining, fasting glucose crept into pre-diabetic range, and waist circumference increased four inches in two years. She started using a specific morning drink backed by clinical research, combined with protein-rich breakfast and moderate movement. Within 12 weeks, her waist decreased four inches, fasting insulin normalized, and energy returned to levels she hadn't experienced in a decade. This isn't exceptional. It's what happens when you work with your metabolism instead of against it. Healthy aging isn't about extreme interventions. It's consistent, evidence-based habits supporting insulin sensitivity and allowing your body to access stored fat for fuel. People who succeed don't use willpower to fight biology. They use knowledge to restore metabolic function. Visceral fat responds to specific metabolic signals, and those signals can be influenced through simple, daily practices supported by research. The morning drink combines four ingredients, warm water, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and fresh ginger. Each has specific metabolic effects documented in peer-reviewed research. Apple cider vinegar contains acetic acid, extensively studied for blood sugar regulation. A 2025 meta-analysis in Frontiers in Nutrition analyzed seven trials with 463 participants. Apple cider vinegar significantly reduced fasting blood glucose by 21.9 milligrams per deciliter and lowered hemoglobin A1c by 1.53 percentage points. Arizona State University research showed consuming vinegar before meals reduced post-meal insulin spikes by up to 34%. Acetic acid activates AMPK enzyme, signaling cells to burn fat for energy rather than store it. A 2024 study showed apple cider vinegar reduced waist circumference in type 2 diabetics. Lemon juice provides polyphenols, plant compounds improving insulin sensitivity and supporting fat metabolism. Research in the Journal of Clinical Biochemistry and Nutrition demonstrated lemon polyphenols reduced visceral fat accumulation by improving fat oxidation. Lemon also stimulates bile production, helping your liver process fats efficiently. Fresh ginger has the strongest clinical evidence for reducing insulin resistance. A 2019 meta-analysis in critical reviews in food science and nutrition analyzed 14 randomized trials with 473 participants. Ginger supplementation significantly reduced body weight, waist to hip ratio, fasting glucose, and reduced insulin resistant markers by 167% compared to placebo. 
A 2018 meta-analysis in evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine reviewed 10 studies with 490 diabetic patients. Ginger reduced hemoglobin A1c by a full percentage point and lowered fasting blood glucose by 21.24 mg per deciliter, matching apple cider vinegar's effects. Ginger contains gingerols and shogales that activate AMPK, the same enzyme metformin activates, improve insulin receptor sensitivity, and create thermogenesis, increasing metabolic rate and calorie burning throughout the day. A 2022 systematic review in phytotherapy research confirmed ginger reduces hepatic fat and decreases inflammatory chemical production from visceral adipose tissue. Warm water consumed on an empty stomach stimulates metabolism and helps eliminate metabolic waste products. The recipe, eight ounces warm water, not boiling. One tablespoon raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. Juice of half a fresh lemon. One inch piece fresh ginger grated or half a teaspoon ginger powder. Drink 20 to 30 minutes before breakfast. This timing allows acetic acid, polyphenols, and gingerols to begin modulating insulin response before food enters your system. This drink will not cure diabetes or eliminate 30 pounds in a week. Anyone making such claims is misleading you. What this combination does, according to clinical research, is support your body's natural insulin regulation and fat oxidation processes. It creates metabolic conditions, making fat burning physiologically possible again. But it works best alongside real food, adequate sleep, stress management, and regular movement. A 2022 study in diabetes care found people who improved insulin sensitivity through lifestyle interventions reduced visceral fat by 8 to 12 percent over six months, even without dramatic weight loss. This magnitude of reduction significantly lowers metabolic disease risk. Small, consistent interventions create meaningful metabolic shifts over time. This isn't about perfection. It's about giving your body tools it needs before minor dysfunction becomes serious disease. Think of this drink as preventative metabolic support, but compounds have documented effects on AMPK activation, insulin sensitivity, and fat oxidation. But they're not pharmaceutical interventions. They're food-based strategies working with your body's existing systems. The goal isn't miraculous overnight transformation. It's gradual restoration of metabolic function, reducing inflammatory burden from visceral fat, and supporting insulin receptors to respond normally again. Five practical tips for best results. One, start gradually if new to apple cider vinegar or ginger. Some experience nausea with full doses initially. Begin with one teaspoon vinegar and quarter-inch ginger, increasing over a week. Two, protect tooth enamel. Acidity from vinegar and lemon can erode enamel with daily exposure. Use a straw to minimize tooth contact. Three, fresh ginger is more potent than powder, but both work. Ginger powder is more concentrated. Use half teaspoon instead of a full inch of fresh ginger. Four, Allow at least four weeks for results. Metabolic changes occur gradually. With consistency, you should notice reduced bloating, more stable energy, and gradual waist circumference changes. Research studies show measurable effects after 8 to 12 weeks. 5. Follow with protein-rich breakfast 20 to 30 minutes later. Protein stabilizes blood sugar and prevents insulin spike after the first meal. Good options include eggs, Greek yogurt, or protein smoothies. Don't expect immediate dramatic changes. Watch for subtle signals, improved afternoon energy, reduced sugar cravings, less morning puffiness, and gradual waste measurement reductions over weeks. When you successfully address visceral fat and insulin resistance, specific changes occur. Waist circumference decreases, 
not from severe calorie restriction, but because your body can finally access stored energy. Your cells respond to insulin normally, so you don't need excessive amounts circulating. Energy stabilizes throughout the day. Blood glucose doesn't spike and crash every few hours, eliminating afternoon energy collapse and sugar cravings. Inflammation markers decrease measurably. Less puffiness, reduced joint discomfort, and improved immune function all reflect lower systemic inflammation as visceral fat diminishes. Blood lipid profiles improve. Your liver processes fats more efficiently when not overwhelmed by insulin resistance and visceral fat. Triglycerides decrease and HDL cholesterol increases. Sleep quality improves. You wake feeling refreshed. Mental clarity returns. Your body stops fighting constant inflammatory battles. This is authentic metabolic health, not aesthetic thinness. It's about cellular function, hormonal balance, and giving organs the environment they need to operate efficiently. You can appear thin, but have significant visceral fat and insulin resistance. On the flip side, you can carry extra subcutaneous fat, but have excellent metabolic markers. The goal is restoring normal cellular function. People who maintain metabolic health into their 60s, 70s, and beyond share a consistent approach. They take metabolic function seriously long before medical emergencies force action. They don't wait for diabetes diagnoses. They don't dismiss expanding waistlines as inevitable aging. They recognize warning signals and respond with evidence-based interventions. They make intentional daily choices, supporting insulin sensitivity, reducing inflammation, and maintaining fat burning mode rather than constant fat storage mode. Your body possesses remarkable resilience. Even after years of metabolic dysfunction, cells can heal. Insulin receptors can regain sensitivity. Your metabolism can reactivate fat burning pathways. The fundamental requirement is providing appropriate tools. Your body wants to function efficiently. Your metabolism wants to burn stored fat for energy. Your cells want to respond normally to insulin. Metabolic dysfunction develops gradually through years of repeated patterns promoting insulin resistance. Reversal also occurs gradually through consistent patterns restoring insulin sensitivity. There are no shortcuts, but nothing mysterious about the process. The research is clear. The mechanisms are understood. The interventions are accessible. What's required is knowledge, consistency, and patience while your body heals at a cellular level. If this information explains why your body has been holding on to stubborn belly fat despite your efforts, type yes in the comments. Let me know this was helpful. Share this video with anyone struggling with unexplained weight gain, low energy, or prediabetes. Send it to family who need this information. The earlier someone understands how visceral fat and insulin resistance work, the easier reversal becomes. Make this morning drink tomorrow. Be consistent for 30 days minimum. Pay attention to energy levels, bloating, waist measurements, and overall well-being. Subscribe for more science-backed metabolic health strategies. I translate complex research into actionable steps you can implement. Your body wants to heal. Your metabolism wants to function efficiently. Your cells want to burn fat for energy. You don't need to fight harder. You need to work smarter by supporting your body's natural processes. The research exists. The interventions are simple. The choice is yours. See you in the next video.